Oh, that's an interesting toy. Oh, this, this is my catapult. Looks cool. I know, right? I'm having a competition with my classmate to see who can build a better catapult. To make it fair, we are using the same raw material. Awesome! But how do you determine whose catapult is better? We have it sorted out. There are two components to this competition. First, we compete on how far the projectile goes. And second, we compete on how accurate we can shoot a target with a catapult. We each have three tries. Sounds a bit like a scientific experiment. Of course it is. Hang on, teacher. I'm nearly done. Give me a second. Wow, looks cool. Let's try it. Okay. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Pretty far, isn't it? That's fantastic! By the power of physics, I think I'm going to win. From the looks of it, your chances of beating your classmate is high. By the way, do you know why the chocolate could fly when you launch it? Hmm... I know when I pull the shooting arm all the way to the back, I am stretching the rubber band. Is it the rubber band that is causing the chocolate to fly? Yes, in fact, you are using the elastic potential energy stored in the rubber band to transfer energy to the chocolate that allows it to be shot out from the basket. What is elastic potential energy? Well, it is the energy stored in a rubber band or a spring when you stretch or compress it. When you take a rubber band and stretch it and shoot it at a friend, that is elastic potential energy. The flying chocolate has energy as well, namely kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is the energy an object possesses when that object is in motion. Oh, wait. I think I might have heard of a few more energies before. There's gravitational potential energy, which we talked about previously. Yes, there is gravitational potential energy. The energy an object has due to its height from the ground. To add on to that, there is also chemical potential energy, which is stored energy that can be absorbed or released within chemicals when they undergo reactions. Hang on, teacher. These are different types of potential energy, right? Which means they can be stored. That's right. Any form of energy that can be stored is called potential energy. Up till now, we have gravitational potential, chemical potential, and elastic potential energy. But what about kinetic energy? In this catapult, you said it is converted from the elastic potential energy, right? Yes. In this example, kinetic energy of the chocolate is converted from elastic potential energy from the catapult. But why is that so, teacher? Isn't the elastic potential energy used up by the chocolate? Aha! Uh -huh. A major misconception. Energy cannot be created or destroyed but it can always be transferred during events and processes. 